We'll be right back with True Colors. And now, True Colors. Oh, they're cutting Medicare? Again? <laughs> my, oh, my. Oh, page 22. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to read the paper. Sarah, what do you do? Stay up nights thinking of ways to harass me? <laughs> no, I'm up anyway. <laughs> hey, man, I only spilt a little bit. Don't get upset. You spilled over half a can of grape soda on my white sheepskin seat covers and I should not be upset? Man, I'm the one that should be upset. The soda costs 75 cents. <laughs> and I paid for it. Well, then this whole thing is your fault. <laughs> hey, listen, why are we eating in here? Katie's bringing a friend home for dinner, a boy she's been working with on some environmental project. Uh, sounds like another dork. <laughs> Mom, Howard was a very nice boy. Oh, yeah, remember that guy? Hi, I'm Howard. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I think my pen leaked on my pants. <laughs> And he was the coolest dude she ever brought home. <laughs> Thanks for getting them started, Mom. Let's be honest, Ellen. Katie's boyfriends do tend to be a bit squirrely. <laughs> hi, everybody. This is my friend, Jonathan Howe. Oh, uh, hi. Hey, look, he isn't squirrely. Mom. <laughs> Jonathan, this is my mother, Ellen, my stepfather, Ron, and my grandmother, Sarah. Hello, Jonathan. You're Katie's mother? Wow, if she had to say anything, I, I would have guessed you were her sister. Uh-huh. And you're Katie's grandmother? I know, I know. A lot of people mistake us for triplets. Hey, Ron, what's happening, my brother? <laughs> Katie told me about her mother's new marital arrangement. Very hip, very progressive. Well done. We aim to please. Have a seat. So, uh... This guy's in your class, huh? He's not in my class, Grandma. Jonathan's 23 years old. He runs his own environmental lobbying group. Oh, how nice. 23. <laughs> Mom, we've collected over a thousand signatures to save the flipper crab. And Jonathan says that if we don't do something now to stop developers from ruining their natural habitat, we won't have any of these flipper crabs left. Tomorrow night, the City Planning Commission is voting on whether or not to accept our petition. It's going to be the culmination of all of our work. It's going to be a really big night for the two of us. Is that so? <laughs> oh, Jonathan, do you think we should get some more signatures before it gets dark? Sure, babe. Isn't she something? What passion. I don't think I've ever met a woman so eager to give of herself for the sake of others. <laughs> what the hell did he mean by that? Oh, nothing, honey. He's, he's just a kid. This guy's probably got a few kids. <laughs> okay, he's a few years older than Katie. But so what? There's nothing romantic going on between them, right? Wise up, Dad. The evidence is overwhelming. <laughs> and what do you know about it, Terry? Well, I've observed enough just to know that this Jonathan guy is a classic type B. You know his blood type? No, 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 no. I'm referring to his approach to romance. See, I'm a type A. Three steps. One, I made him. Two, the smile. And three, well, you know step three. See, uh, Jonathan is, you know, type B. It's a tenth step. It's a more subtle approach. You know, sensitivity, caring, conversation, all that garbage. <laughs> Terry, a ten-step program. You can't reduce relationships to something so cold and systematic, right, Ron? Hey, absolutely. If you could, what step would he be on now? <laughs> Four. Four? That's almost halfway! We'll be able to tell more at supper. The pace this guy's going, they should be holding hands before dessert. And that would take them to step five. So, Jonathan, what got you so interested in the environmental movement? Well, Ron, I just feel it's vitally important for people to realize that all plants and animals are intertwined in the same spiritual ecosystem. 
I feel it's my duty to spread that message. And it's a joy to do, especially with the help of this fine young woman right here. <laughs> Would you like some chicken, Jonathan? Jonathan doesn't eat chicken. I only eat foods that have no face, spine, or nervous system. <laughs> Sounds like my cousin Blanche. <laughs> How about some broccoli, then? Jonathan doesn't eat broccoli. Broccoli, as one of the more highly developed vegetables, has a rudimentary nervous system. It does feel pain. <laughs> <laughs> I think I hear a scream. Don't be stupid, Lester. Oh, it's okay, babe. Uh, Ron, shouldn't we check on your souffle? Souffle? What souffle? Oh, that souffle. Uh, the one in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. huh? Excuse us, please. Jonathan doesn't eat souffles. What the hell does he eat, Dame? <laughs> he put his arm around her. Oh, honey, that doesn't mean anything. Ellen, brace yourself. He's on an accelerated schedule. What? <laughs> what do you mean? Well, according to my calculations, he should begin stroking her hair in about, uh, seven seconds. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> 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 He's stroking her hair. All right, this has gone far enough. I'm putting a stop to this right now. We're going out to get some more signatures, okay, Ma? Okay, kids, have fun. Thanks for dinner. The parsley was great. <laughs> uh, I don't know how to break this to you, but uh, Jonathan and Katie are headed for step 10. 9.97. You always round up. Oh. <laughs> how did you compute this? Well, this is how I figure it. Tomorrow night, the city planning commission votes on whether or not to save the flipper crab. Jonathan and Katie are gonna be there. If they vote yes, then Katie and Jonathan go off and celebrate. <laughs> if they vote no, then Katie and Jonathan wind up Consoling each other. <laughs> Either way you look at it, Katie's gonna end up writing her diary. If you catch my drift. <laughs> Ron, hmm. listen, when Katie gets back, I want you to tell her that she can't see Jonathan anymore. Me? <laughs> Why don't you tell her? No, no, it's no good coming from me. She'll think I'm trying to control her life, which I've always promised that I would never do, so... You do it. <laughs> Ellen, you, you're just getting crazed over nothing. Stop listening to him. Oh, okay, Dad. Obviously, you need a little bit more proof. Jonathan's gonna give Katie a nice, long goodbye hug right there on the front steps, right about now. <laughs> well, go on, Dad. Look, I'm gonna humor you. But this is ridiculous. I mean, I don't believe it. I'm walking over here, looking out the window to see if somebody... Okay, I'll talk to her. Hi. Sorry I'm late. But Jonathan was explaining to me the courtship rituals of the Arctic sea otter. He just, he knows so much. Uh, I'm aware of that, honey. <laughs> Here, sit down on the couch. Uh, Ron has something he wants to say to you. What is it, Ron? Well, Katie, um... Your mother and I, we're, um, sick. No, uh, we're up, uh, tall. We're bigger than you. We're high. We're, no, that can't be right. Uh, upset. Yes, that's it. We're upset. You see, this young man, Jonathan, he's, um, chubby. No, he's, he's, well, he smokes, he, 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 he speaks, no, he's round, he, he, he's been around, he's been around, yes. <laughs> Katie, um, ba babies. Katie, have you thought about having babies? <laughs> Honey, you're just a baby. I am not. Oh, no, not a baby. I mean, there's just a lot you don't know about yet. Like what? Well, like, for instance, uh, Jonathan. 
I don't think it's a good idea for you to spend so much time with him. Any more time with him, in fact. But, Mom, tomorrow night is a meeting of the Planning Commission where we present our petition to save the flippers. And I'm going. Katie, I don't think you should. Well, get over it, Mom. You can't tell me what to do. I can do whatever I want. No, you can't. Yes, I can, and I'm going to that meeting. No, you're not. Well, that's not fair. This isn't fair. It's a good thing you stepped in. <laughs> True Colors will be right back. Now back to True Colors. Hey, yo, Candy, you brought you something to eat. <laughs> I'm not hungry. How have you been in your room all day? Because she won't let me go to the planning commission meeting with Jonathan, so I'm not going to give her the satisfaction of ever coming out of my room again for the rest of my life. Oh, the rest of your life, huh? This probably ain't enough chicken there. Chicken that's the same chicken that Jonathan refused to eat. Hey, yo, Katie, don't cry. Come on. Hey. <laughs> that's Mr. Snoopus. Let me have him. Hey, you feel better now? No. But thanks anyway. Man. I remember when Tara was holed up in this very same room, just like you are now. See, my dad wouldn't let him go to this Kumo D concert with his friend Jimbo Merriweather. <laughs> oh, T was bugged, man. This was Terry's room before we moved in? Yeah. That explains the notches. <laughs> no, T wound up going to that concert after all, you know. What do you mean? He just opened this window here. Climb the trellis and down to the alley. <laughs> ah, my dad didn't even know it was gone. See you. <laughs> oh, hey, Mr. Snoofus, don't eat up the rest of Katie's chicken. <laughs> you see, that's a joke. Because Mr. Snoofus' teeth is made out of felt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> some dessert. Uh-oh. Yo, D, I'll take them out here, ma'am. Yo, man, quit bugging me. I was in my room counting the hairs on my chest. <laughs> <laughs> just listen. See, I was just telling Katie about the time Dad wouldn't let you go to that cool Mode concert with Jimbo Merriweather and how you snuck out by crawling down the trellis. Well, I think Katie just did the same thing to go with that crab dude. <laughs> oh, man. She's in trouble. I mean, that dude's a dog and she doesn't even know it. Katie? You should tell Ellen. Nah, Ellen, go crazy. What should we do? Katie? Quick, jump in the bed and cover your head up. <laughs> Katie? Oh, are you napping? Yes. <laughs> Like you're getting a cold. No wonder it's freezing in here. Ooh. Listen, honey. I thought you always slept with Mr. Snoofus. <laughs> Listen, honey, about our fight last night, I, I still think Jonathan is too old for you, but if you want to continue working with him on that environmental project, well, it's all right with me. I mean, I trust your judgment. And I'm, I'm sorry I lost my, uh, my temper. Okay? Okay. You know, I guess it's hard to know where to draw the line sometimes, but I guess it isn't easy being a teenage girl either, is it? No. <laughs> I love you. I love you too, honey. Very much. I can't believe that worked. She loves me, T. Shut up. Look, 
man. What are we going to do? I mean, Katie's in big trouble. Property of Jonathan Howell, 1834 Chestnut, apartment 10B. Here's our answer, Liz. I can't believe the planning commission voted against us. I put my life, my, my blood, my guts into saving those crabs. Jonathan, I hate to see you so upset. Is, is there anything I can do? Well, now that you mention it, hold that thought. Yes? Apartment 10B? Yes? It's your father. <laughs> and your mother. Get lost. Just some, just some kids trying to sneak into the building. So, what were you saying a minute ago? And I told you, we should have said that we were Jehovah Witnesses. <laughs> Nobody opens the door for them, man. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, 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 this thing's pretty rickety. Oh, no, 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 it's okay. Hey, stop it. Don't fall off, man. Master, stop it. Master, I'm not playing, man. Stop it. All right. Oh, yo, look, there they are. You know, even though we lost the vote tonight, these past few weeks have been very special for me. Me too, Jonathan. There's really no reason why it has to end. I know we can appeal the Planning Commission's decision if we file by Tuesday. That's not exactly what I meant. We gotta get this window open. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get my window. Um, Jonathan. Shh. <laughs> there, that's better. Whoa. I gotta get a couch like that. <laughs> a little privacy. Jonathan, this is all going a little too fast for me. Uh, couldn't we just sit and talk or something? Katie, Katie, what's happened to that passion I've seen in your eyes these past few weeks? Well, it was passion for the crabs, mainly. <laughs> this thing must be painted shut or something. You pull as hard as you can, Lester? Lester? Lester! Hey, yo, T, I can see our house from here. <laughs> Man, get down! I cannot believe what an idiot you are. <laughs> What's all the noise out here? Hey, Lou, call the police. Two boys are trying to break into the building. No, 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 no. We're not together. It's just him. Lou! <laughs> you happy now? work together to save the environment. The what? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> I suppose. I'll call you. You won't, will you? Fine. Okay. I understand. Goodbye. <laughs> Can I help you? Uh, we brought your flipper crab. Yeah. Hey, man, where'd you get this couch? Katie, I want to speak to you. Uh-oh. Hi, Mom. You know, when I went into your room a few hours ago... Look, Mom, don't get mad at me. Look, I can explain everything. I'm not mad at you. You're not? No, just the opposite. When I came out of there, I had such a wonderful, warm feeling about our relationship. <laughs> <laughs> you did? Yes, you know... Once in a while, I can get a little overprotective, but, you know, I realize it's so unnecessary with you. You're so strong and mature. Oh, I love you. Mm. I'm so proud of you. Uh, thanks. Your cold sounds better. <laughs> Grandma, is Mom acting a little strange to you? Ah, uh, who knows? I've got my own problems. <laughs> Have a good evening, sweetie. <laughs> It isn't that man and boy wonder. Boy, idiot. Hey, don't call me boy. 
<laughs> what were you two doing out on the fire escape, anyhow? Yeah, Tim wanted to save you from Mr. Crab Face. Save me? Terry, I don't need you to save me. Listen, Katie, you're a little naive, all right? And I know a sleazy guy when I see one. I'm sure you do. <laughs> I can take care of myself very well, thank you. I mean, how was I supposed to know? I never had a sister before. A sister? I meant sister. <laughs> you know, it's a black thing. Sister. <laughs> or such a jerk. I meant a jerk. It's a white thing. <laughs> anyway, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where have you all been? Don't ask. Well, we went after Katie because she snuck out of the house to go be with uh, Mr. Crab Man. Does your mother know? Yeah, she knows. And she's proud of me. <laughs> Yo, Dad, it was pretty cool the way she snuck out. See, she snuck out just like T did when he uh, went to that Kumo D concert with Jimbo Merriweather when he wasn't supposed to. Oh, really? Oops. <laughs> Stay tuned for these messages. Homer Simpson is baseball's newest mascot. But is America ready for Dance and Homer? Find out on an all-new Simpsons this Thursday. Later tonight, the homeboys are moving to the woods. Hollywood, that is. The homeboys are back on an all-new in living color. But first, stay tuned for Parker Lewis Can't Lose. Next. Good night. Good night.